Here we have a series of letters between Margaret Partridge, an electrical engineer, and her friend Caroline Hazlitt, who was the first secretary of Women's Engineering Society and founder of the Electrical Association for Women. These are written in 1925, and they're about an event that Caroline and Margaret are planning to attend, which is an event run by the IMEA on um, electricity and electrical distribution. The uh, concern that Margaret has is whether she is able to attend um, all of the programme as an engineer, or as she put it, please tell me, am I a lady or an engineer? What are you? Do you notice that at each of the papers there is a special side stunt for the ladies? For instance, I want to do both Rodine and Robinson's paper, especially as this is an area that she was particularly interested in, i.e. the wiring of small domestic houses. Caroline Hazlitt responds, to be quite frank, I haven't yet applied my mind seriously to the IMEA. However, one thing I'm quite clear about, and that is that we are both going as engineers or semi-engineers and not as wives. Also, I'm quite clear about the fact that if I desire to take part in any of the more serious discussions, I shall most certainly do so. So Margaret responds um, thanking Caroline for her letter, um, but also talking about what she's going to wear on the day. And she's made a little sketch of a hat that she's designed and is planning to wear. And she says, um, this is her father's top hat, um, and she's put a scarf around it. And she says, this is a hybrid semi-feminine air, which seems suitable for the occasion. Um, although Caroline isn't particularly polite about the hat in her response and she says the description and sketch of your hat, if anything, increases my alarm and anxiety. I do not want to appear sarcastic about your artistic efforts but, if it's, but it seems to me that there may be some danger of our being taken for the new Piero troop. Um, and this entertaining series of letters shows two confident women um, who are attending engineering events in the 1920s um, who aren't afraid to have a joke about the stereotypes of women attending engineering events.